Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we'll cover how to analyze your employees' daily attendance and overtime and prepare data for payroll. First, your team needs to track their time either by using a timer app, entering their time in a timesheet, or clock in using a kiosk station. They can categorize their time by project and task and create time entries specifically for breaks. They can also request time off, or their team manager can apply it for them. Once your team tracks some time, go to the attendance report here. This table shows you all your employees and their attendance for today. You can see when they started and finished working and how long they were on a break. If there's a timer icon next to them, it means they still have their timer running. In the work column, you can see their total work hours, which is a sum of all their time entries durations for that day, minus the break. The next two columns show you their daily capacity and overtime, which is work minus capacity. So for example, if a person worked nine hours and their capacity was eight hours, they'll have one hour overtime. But if they worked seven hours, they'll have minus one in overtime. Additionally, you can see if they had time off or holiday that day. If they had, that time will be deducted from their capacity for that day. Also, if it's a non-working day, their capacity will be zero. So if your capacity was eight hours and you worked eight hours but had one hour time off, you'll have one hour overtime. You can adjust a person's capacity and their working days on the team page, either in bulk for multiple users or by opening someone's profile. Now, at the top of the report, you have all sorts of filters. You can use them to find days when people started before or after a certain time, had a break, worked over or under a certain number of hours, worked overtime, or had time off. For example, you can filter by a certain member and choose last week to see that person's weekly attendance. Or, you can select a group and filter by who had overtime greater than half an hour for this month. Or, you can see everyone who worked more than six hours but had a less than half an hour break. Or, you can filter out people who had a capacity greater than one hour but logged less than that. If you use some filters frequently, you can bookmark the links so it's always close at hand. Once you have the report you need, you can export it to Excel for further analysis. For example, you can export a report for the month and let it summarize all the work and overtime by person in a pivot table for payroll purposes. If you wish to get work totals in Clockify, you can go to Summary Report, group it by month and then user, filter out break time and status filter, and export to Excel. Finally, if you've created a schedule for your team along with their shifts and assignments, you can run the assignments report here. This report shows you all the scheduled versus tracked hours broken down by project, user, and date. So, for example, if you've scheduled 20 hours for two users this week, 10 hours each, you can see who tracked how much against their assignment. And you can sort the data by status to see who fulfilled the most of their schedule. You can also choose a custom breakdown. For example, you can group by user and subgroup by project and day to see if people worked some days more than others. Be sure to check out our other videos to learn more about scheduling and all the different ways you can track time.